Bitcoin, known as one of Wall Street's most volatile assets, although not the case recently. Kate Rooney has more on what has been Bitcoin's new and somewhat steadier normal. Kate. Hey, David. Good morning. So the world's largest cryptocurrency is in a multi-year low for price swings. Some are calling this a period of investor apathy. It's traded in a price range of just 4%. And it's failing to sustain some of the upward momentum that came after the BlackRock announcement for that Bitcoin ETF and the application for that ETF. Analysts over at Glassnode note that inflows have been what they call steady and modest. They dubbed it a period of investor apathy, referring to what they call a hangover from the bear market. Fundstrat, meanwhile, says investors have been moving into some of the more speculative so-called altcoins and equities away from Bitcoin. They highlight some selling pressure as well from Bitcoin mining companies that tend to be some of the larger holders of Bitcoin's supply. And while price stability, guys, might be a good thing for Bitcoin's store of value, its digital gold status, and for some of the institutional investors, volatility does tend to attract some of the new buyers and retail money. As far as the bull case going forward, market participants are looking towards something called the halving, where the new supply of Bitcoin will essentially become more constrained. That's set to happen next year. Also holding on to hope that that Bitcoin ETF I mentioned will bring in a wider investor audience. Crypto stocks, that is really where the action has been. Coinbase is up about 50 percent or so on the month. It tends to see a lot of short interest as well. That's part of the story, plus a sigh of relief on the regulatory front. You've also got the crypto mining names up big. The smaller, more speculative tokens that Fundstrat talked about, those are up double digits as well. Sarah, back to you.